Good morning everyone, welcome to a new Florida day. We are up and about, there's a little bit of a lay in. It's currently now half past nine. Gorgeous day outside. We're just packing up our last little bits as we are leaving this Windsor Hills Villa today. And we are gonna be going and checking into the Solterra Resort later on, uh, which will be nice. Uh, owner of this villa has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, again, she's allowing us to leave our luggage in the front bedroom that we haven't used until later on. So we haven't got to take our suitcases out with us. Uh, which is fantastic so kim thank you very much for that if you are interested in renting this villa uh, i will leave the link down in the description uh, there is a little night stride discount as well but so uh, yeah it's been a brilliant stay brilliant stay as always and uh looking forward to seeing something a little bit different coming up as well so uh, do stay tuned for that don't know what else is going to be going on today everyone's sort of packing up dad's still stressing over his phone and getting these concert tickets for later so We'll try and work on that in a little bit, see if we can do anything. But uh, the other problem is if we buy a new phone and download it all from the iCloud, he's still not got a SIM card. So this is the other issue that we've got. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that today. Any other ideas of what you'd like to do today? Mom, you feeling <laughs> fresh after your bonanza day oh, yesterday? Well, yesterday it was fab. Good, wasn't it? Really, Full on, really it was enjoyed it. Any and ideas what you'd like to do today? today? It's lovely today. Stunning, Saturday. I don't know whether we've got to go and find Dozy Drawers a new phone. Well, we'll have to see. I don't know whether we can do much without a SIM card, though. That's the I problem. I think he's trying to contact somebody over it. Right. I don't know. Okie dokie. Well, first things first, we've got to check out, of, uh, check out of here. Dad's swim shorts are still by the pool, so I'll go and grab them. Oh, Look at that. It's gorgeous out there. Welcome on board your morning ride to Disney Springs. Seatbelts book up from left to right, left to right only. Go ahead and pull on those yellow tabs for me. <laughs> pull on those yellow straps, sir. I'm not going on the Velocity Coaster, <laughs> am I? Sir, your belt's not complete. Okay, okay. Left to right only. <laughs> I'm Can you on pull on the yellow strap? <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> Hands up. Enjoy your ride. Driver, we are clear. <laughs> <laughs> Heading through the arches then, let me know in the comments how you all feel when you see this sign and you drive you under it and you Disney drive like through it. This. You're going into the Disney bubble, the blue sky, palm trees. I'm telling you how I feel, skint. <laughs> It is a special feeling, isn't it? Oh, it is. Look at that. Whee! <laughs> We're officially in Disney now. Oh, and there's a the Hollywood Tower Hotel in the very, very background. The Swan and Dolphin, is that? Yeah, Swan and Dolphin. There you go, look at that. So we'll pop to Disney Springs, try and sort a little bit of Dad's phone out and see what's going on. Yeah. Have a mooch. Yeah, because we've not been to the Christmas shop or the art shop yet, have we? No, we'll have a little lunch in there. Yeah. See where the day takes us. It's a lovely Florida day, though. Oh, it's a gorgeous day. I know it's going to be warm once I get out of the car. It was a bit chilly before, but I know it'll be warm. So I'm excited. So Summer House must do a breakfast as well. Everyone in there having their coffees and stuff. Very busy. Even the cookie stand and stuff, you can get coffees and that. Looks nice. Maybe we could have a coffee in there instead of a Starbucks if you wanted. I think we'll go there for dinner one night, yeah, but we could have a little coffee now, maybe. Okay, just have coffee. Possibly, I'll find out. Okay, well, it's coffee in the boathouse today. We're trying something different. I'm going to try a French vanilla latte, hazelnut vanilla. I'm going to have one of these cookies with it. I'm not sure what to go for. Look at that with the Rice Krispies on. That might be an option. Yeah. Had that last time. It was nice. Not with a coffee, though. Or if I go around here, I might just go for like a simple chocolate chip or an M&M cookie, maybe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 So we've just got our coffees. Look at the little drawer where you get all your little sugars and stuff that are at the office desk. And a nice little bag with the pastries in. Nice. Just a small cinnamon roll then. Got a bit round your mouth there. What's it like? Looks more like a croissanty type. Yeah. It's nice. not all like moist and soggy. Nice and fresh. Yeah, I've got my little cookie here as well. 
and we've got some different coffees to try. It's a little bit different. Similar price to Starbucks. Price change. I'm excited for my French vanilla latte. Yeah. I like French, French vanilla latte, eh? With hazelnut though as well. Might be a bit like a Kinder Bueno. Well, how's your coffee going over there, Laura? It's lovely. I'm enjoying it. Your vanilla latte? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Dad's happy because I've managed to get his his Surprise concert tickets. tickets. <laughs> I've got his concert tickets on my phone now. So you can go to the concert with still no answer from Uber though, which is really disappointing. I'm on the live chat with them again. Um, and we're going to check Lost and Found here in case you dropped it before you got in the taxi. Uh, Mum, cinnamon roll went down very well. It's all around your mouth, so I know you enjoyed it. I know you enjoyed that. My cookie went down very nicely as well. What's disappointing? I had photographs in my phone for clues of where I'm going tonight with you. I know. And now I can't do the quiz. No, can't do it. Oh well. But we'll At least you you're going to concerts, to... so that's one thing. Oh, I have absolutely. But we're, we're sort of right now, I think we're considering the phone has gone now at this yeah. point. But the fact that Uber can't get an answer from their driver is awful. They should be able to get, you know, an answer. They should be able to stop his app from working. He can't take any more fares until he tells us if he's got the phone or not. Well, there you go. I'm on the live chat again. All we're looking for is, you know, I haven't got it or yeah, I've got it. It's been a day and a half. Yeah. And we started contacting them literally an hour after he lost yeah. the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Less than. Well, there you go. Nice and chilled. That was your uh, gluten-free brownie. Okay. Okay, nothing to rave about. Yeah, you've got chocolate brownie or chocolate cookie in here, which yeah, is nice. So I'm not complaining, it's okay. It's a different to what I'm used to than the brownie, but it's nice. Good. So just heading to Lost and Found, but look how lovely these murals are on the walls, all hand painted. Uh, if you're looking for Lost and Found, it's just near the bus station, uh, around the back of uh, Planet Hollywood, out on the front side. Comes up just here, we'll quickly ask, very unlikely, but you never ever know. But uh, good news is we're heading in the right direction. Laura's got to return a uh, makeup thing to Sephora, and then we're gonna head round to the uh, Christmas shop anyway. So we're heading in the right direction. Yeah, these are stunning, very colourful. Well, good news everyone. Dad's phone was in the lost and found. He's got it back, he's made up, look. So what we think- What to do? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna discuss that. <laughs> but uh, he's uh, absolutely made up. Can't he wants believe. to dance in that fountain over there. Absolutely. The thought that someone has gone, oh, I'll just hand that in. So he must have dropped it getting into the taxi because he ordered the Uber on the app and everything. He's yeah. dropped it, was handed in. I've got to say as well, the Lost and Found in here in Disney World is very good. They had about 20 phones in there. Always check Lost and Found because sometimes it takes a couple of days to be processed, but they bag it all, they label it all, and they found it very quickly. quickly and then they asked me what, what, how to identify it, and I said, there's a dog comes on the front screen. Yeah, I don't have a picture of Lydia, I have a picture of the dog. And they can always ask you to just unlock it with your code or something, but yeah, he's got it, he's made up. So, so the all the still though, still comments. surprised who the Uber driver didn't just say no after all them calls and texts, but I'll mark it as found now on the Uber app. I did still find that a bit strange that he didn't just click no, just, just say no. no. Yeah. Got yeah. Well, there but we go, sorted. Joy, absolute joy, guys. And I can now Boxed comment off. back and thank you for the comments in there. Yeah, you the can go on the YouTube and all that now. <laughs> and, uh, can we post off the picture of the clue for tonight? You can. I can. Do yeah, I post it? Right, when I, get, when I get a chance, I'll post it up. On the Facebook. Yeah, on the Facebook group. On the Facebook group. Yeah. Right, so Laura's just popped into Sephora. Then we're carrying around having a bit of a mooch. But the phone's done, the concert bit's done. You can relax now. Um, Jeez. This is, <laughs> I can't tell you how happy I feel. If right, anyone... Don't lose it again. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem though, you know with those wallet cases, when you drop them, they don't make any noise. No, that's Now if you'd true. have dropped it with a hard case, you'd have yeah. probably heard the drop. I swear by these cases, 
I've always had one. Andrew's like, nah. Oh, they are proper granddad cases, them, aren't they? <laughs> tell me your dad's got an iPhone without telling me your dad's got an iPhone. It's one of those flippy magnet cases, in it? With your card slot and that, so, yeah. But it protects the phone as well. <laughs> and then you answer it with your phone flapping all over you. The case flaps all over your face while you're talking. It's a nightmare trying to do a selfie. Yeah, flapping around. <laughs> so we just got uh, Jude a Mack truck. Show everyone what you got, Jude. He loves trucks. So we got. There you go. Jude's got a nice. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the 2024 merch personally, but. It's just a kid's toy truck. And uh, we've got six dollars off for the annual pass yeah, there. I love it. Good yeah. stuff. So we've got Chiardelli here. I'm gonna have a quick look in Chiardelli, which is amazing chocolate. Fancy a chocolate sundae or a banana split? Just had a chocolate <laughs> walnut cake. Banana split. Ah, you love a banana split. This is some of the best ice cream in Orlando in here. We did eat a lot in the uh, event last night, to be fair. If you haven't seen the vlog, we did the uh, Orlando Informer meetup, which had loads of food and drink included. But if you know, you know, walking into this shop, not only do you get blasted by the aircon, but you get hit by a gorgeous smell. It smells incredible in here. Look at all this chocolate. Oh, yeah. right, Dad's uh, he's got he's making his own little goodie bag here with different stuff. Mum hates dark chocolate, right? right? But I'd love to carefully open it. Ninety-two percent. Come on, put it in a milk chocolate bar. Put it bag. in a milk chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind a bit of dark chocolate. I mean, ninety-two well, percent would be very. Well, I've, the lowest they've got is sixty. Yeah. So and they have got little. If you like your dark chocolate, they've got a whole assortment. But Dad wasn't too sure if he was gonna like the sea salt, sea salt. almond, and the caramel. We've got a nice mix here. Yeah, they're yeah, like they're like proper after eights. After eights now have gone terrible. They're probably way nicer than after eights now. Them after eights any, now are awful. Are there any of them? Because mum loves after eights. I'll have a look. They've got some peppermint bar. The only time she eats dark chocolates is with an after eight. Yeah. But the after eights have gone awful. Have you tried them lately? No. Oh, they're terrible. Good brownies in here as well. And nose. Laura loves that chocolate covered strawberry. Thank you. Thank and what you. you can do is uh, go next door and get one of the milkshakes and stuff. Bag. Look at that. How much was that? just under 20 20 dollars so you pay the price doing the mix and match your best prices are on like these so you can get like i think you're over there you can get three for th three three bags for 50 dollars but we've got exactly what you want yeah you've not got a sack of stuff that you're not going to eat it's not the cheapest chocolate but it is nice as a little treat as i say if anyone's tried after eights recently they are awful I mean, there's barely any mint in them and the, in the, and the chocolate is oh no they're not good at all anymore after eights Right, okay, so we're just gonna hang around here a little bit. If I hadn't had the cookie, I would have gone for they do an amazing brownie sundae in there. It's not cheap, but it's incredible. Do a nice uh, banana split as well. Oh, nice ice cream. We've had cookies and coffee. Yeah, no, I've just said that, so I'm, I'm full, I'm stuffed, you know what I mean? I'm feeling good, you know? We're just chilling around here. Mum and Laura are gonna meet us in this sort of area, so we just hang around and maybe we'll have a little look in the co-op. Let's have a little sit in a shade somewhere as well. Oh, you want to sit and shine out? It's so busy. It is the weekend though. It's Saturday. So this is Saturday lunchtime, everyone. If you're thinking of crowd levels at Disney Springs, Saturday lunch, busy, busy. I love the blossom on that tree though. Love the, the weather's certainly come back to life, back to normal. Have a quick little look in the market co-op. Let's have a quick look in here. Did you come in here the other night without us? Um, I can't remember now to be honest. Co-op's quite good. Wouldn't you love that tree in your garden, Dad? Absolutely. Stunning, isn't it? You actually got a magnolia, didn't you? Yeah. Like that you like that you used to love here in Florida yeah, and it got... died, didn't it? No, 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 no. The magnolia oh, is, is absolutely fine. Oh, the magnolia's fine. Which is the one I'm thinking of that you the, got uh, that died? I a, a drooping cedar conifer tree. That was it, yeah, you were gutted uh, it died. It, was it a... just died on me. Cost a fortune as well, didn't it? It cost 800 pounds. 800 quid for a tree and it died. It's it, stunning that though, isn't it? It was there for four or five years though, so when I wrote to the firm and said, look, you know, the tree's dead, he said, tough. Yeah, there's like no guarantee on the tree. <laughs> but yeah, he's got a magnolia in his garden, which is like what you see around Windsor Hills in the front gardens. When they come into flower in Windsor Hills, they just look Oh, it's stunning, yeah. If you come in when the magnolias are flowering, if you come to Florida then, stunning. Right, a little mooch around the co-op then. 
thoughts on these then guys i just don't understand the whole pizza obsession they're made really well but pizza do you want to walk around with a pizza bag on and a pizza onesie and some pizza ears they are made well though i do like the ears are good with the glitter and that but pizza why pizza all right yeah uh to mooch you all good all good you're just chattered, you're going to a concert and you've got yeah. a phone again. <laughs> what was it yeah. like not having a phone for a few days? Uh, Can't live without it, can it, you? It is not nice. It's now a full-on part of society, isn't it? The worry of... Um, like bank people, details bank and all details, that. Bank details, yeah. everything. All your personal stuff, which you assured me on an iPhone, is very hard. To yeah, it is all very safe, yeah. Your face ID. Yeah, or pins and stuff, yeah. Okay, Christmas time then. My favourite shop ever. Let's have a quick look at some of the Christmas decorations, see if they're any better than the last trip. And then we're across to the art shop, which is my favourite. So mine and Laura's favourite shops are next to each other. Yeah. Now I did find that the, the decorations in here have gone a little bit downhill in terms of quality. I did find that Universal were much better quality last year. Oh, these are quite good though, these yeah, Halloween these ones, they're nice. Yeah, they're and that one's cute. good as well. Yeah. Yeah, these are a little bit better than they were last time. I remember after COVID, they were horrendous, yeah. these ornaments. So I remember a few years ago, this would have just been row after row after row of different stuff. Now it's just a whole block of the same decoration over and over again. So there's definitely less choice. That's quite good. It's like a subtle Dumbo one. That's quite good. So they have got better, but yeah, there's definitely less choice now. There used to just be so many different things to choose from now. A lot of it is all the same, just row after row of the same. Some quite good Toy Story ones. That's good, bullseye. But then again, look at the quality of it. Look, pin on the bottom of the foot and still look, it's even broken, that. Look at that. It's all broken. Yeah, see? I just don't think the quality's there anymore. I look at the, see what the paint works like on that. Not bad, not bad. It's definitely better. Let's see if there's anything that we really, really want because they're not cheap. So mum loves this one. I think that's the one we eyed up, isn't it, Laura? Yeah. Actually, it's really nice, that. It is one of the best ones. That is. And they actually make them, is it? Ah, oh, that is glass, is it? Yeah. yeah. So a lot of them they're making plastic now, safe for travel, but yeah, they're nice. I even like the Mickey ones good as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice choice, that one with the snow on, I like that. Yeah, okay, so into the art shop we go then. Let's have a little look at some of these art pieces. There was Festival of the Arts, obviously at Epcot. But this is one of my favorite shops to have a little mooch in. They've got a lot of originals and also a lot of prints normally. Let's have a little look. It's looking a little bit bare today, actually. A lot of this is 50% off. They're selling off a lot of the Disney 100 stuff now. So a lot of these, so these are 50% off these Disney 100 uh, pieces. Some other little bits and bobs. I think the Disney 100 castle is uh, discounted as well. I love this one, the Haunted Mansion. I think that's brilliant. In terms of artwork pieces though, I think a lot of it was probably off to Epcot or something because there isn't really that many pieces. Nothing particularly new or stand out to me so far. A lot of like the shelving's all bare and a lot of this is all bare as well. So I think probably a lot of it was used in uh, Epcot maybe. And that's why they're not here. Yeah, not quite as good as usual. It's very, very bare in here. Very bare. This is probably my favorite thing in here this trip. These uh, singing busts, these are really good light up as well good for $125 and there's the little chair behind that I liked okay so we're heading out it is quite busy now now a little tip if you find this a little bit overwhelming or intense or you don't want to walk through all the crowds in the main area here go round to the front and you can walk along the front and it's a lot less crowded through this way all the shops very busy if you go out and along the front similar to where we were earlier with the lost and found it's actually quite a nice quiet walk along the uh, around the back I should say really uh, around the back of Disney Springs along more along the street side 
walking through that bit there around the lake. Very busy in here now at the weekend. So we're off now to uh, go back to uh, Windsor Hills, gonna grab our suitcases, and then we're off to check into the Solterra Resort. So looking forward to showing you that, never been before. They've got amazing resort facilities, which we're gonna have a little look at before we get into the villa at four o'clock. And then see where the day takes us. But yeah, we've got a little bit of filming to do. Look at that, it's stunning, isn't it? Really pretty, isn't it? Really? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Love the flowers. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So, how many of you wish you could jump through the screen now, go for a little mooch, you'd battle the crowds and just have a little wander around Disney Springs, get yourself a Chiardelli ice cream in the sunshine. Well, there we go, that's us checking out of this one. 2687 Manistee Lane, and we are off to the Saltair. And how lovely stay in that villa, as always. That villa, yeah. And uh, let's stride on to the next. Okay, here we are then, Solterra Resort. Wasn't too bad of a drive, about 20 odd minutes up from Windsor Hills. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna come in, we are a little bit early, it's only two o'clock, we can check into the villa at four. But uh, we can go and use the community and get all checked in. We've got to register our two cars. And then this is one of the resorts, a lot of them are introducing it now and they're charging a one-off fee for your family or your party to use the community facilities. Uh, what a lot of homeowners are doing is once you pay that fee, they will refund it back to you. Some are, some aren't. It's $37, so I'm gonna go and pay that, register us all, and then for that $37, we can all use the community center, the pool, etc. It's not mega bucks, uh, but that is one of the, this is one of the resorts that have just introduced it, and a lot of the resorts are doing it. Some other ones are charging per car, so they want like $40 per car for your stay, different bits like that. So let me uh, get checked in and we'll uh, catch you in a minute. Okay, so we just quickly stopped at the gate. He said, did you make the reservation? I said, yeah, it's all in my name. He said, Pro proceed to the clubhouse and you check in and do everything there. So that's where we'll pay that little fee, register the cars, etc., etc. So He said it's over the speed bump and to the right or left to the right thing it was some stunning yeah. looking homes i'm excited so looking right. forward to seeing it the looks like a really got. nice resort with really green and yeah. fresh and well maintained yeah so uh, the pictures and everything look stunning we've never been here before as i've said so yeah i'm excited I'm if excited you have stayed here it. before though there's a lot of rental homes on here i'm sure someone has so do let me know in the comments what you thought oh someone else on their little bikes and stuff like that oh, nice oh yeah it looks very nice very community feel to yeah. it. Again, gated community, nice and safe. And here's the clubhouse here. How, uh, oh, it looks very oh. Spanish or Italian. I was about to it? say that looks very expensive and luxurious. Looks a little bit uh, Italian or Spanish style, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, especially with those um, trees there. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Oh, look at that. I'm excited. Nice. Okay, well, we're all checked in. This is the pool area here. You've got the bar and grill. We've got a DJ on today as well. Some seating areas, big pool swimming area, cabanas you can rent, nice slide, we'll have a little mosey around. The lazy river is just over there, there's actually a lazy river in here mum, that you can chill in. Let's uh, go and have a little look, have a little mosey around. Wait for Dad. Oh there we go, yeah, we're going to wait for Dad to pop the car. Nice isn't it? And not too overcrowded, so I think with the wristband system, so you pay your $37 and then they give you a wristband each day, you just show this little card that you've paid and it's a different wristband for each day. I think probably too many people there uh, sneaking in for the day and stuff. Yeah. So we've got a nice little spot by the Lazy River. We're having a little bit of a GR Deli feast before it all melts. Nice, we're all checked in, all good to go. Yeah. Just waiting for the message to say the villa's ready and we'll get in. Well, it's nice, I do love the look of the lazy river. Gorgeous day. Yeah. Chilling, eating Chiar Deli in the sunshine. It can't be bad, can it? And then uh, this this uh, family here just got all kinds of Arnold Palmer cocktails and all kinds going on. Oh, that cocktail be nice. And get yourself a little drinky. Here we are then, 5404, Solterra Circle. Just gonna pop the door code in. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. 
This looks nice. Look at that. Look what's on the screen. My name. Welcome, oh, Andrew Knight. There we go. Medicine. Tap to check in. That's really good. First impressions of the property. It's all on there. It's a bit yes. flashy, the screen, but... Uh, oh, this is good. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. Well, there's going to be a big full tour of this coming up. But just to give you a first impression, stunning. Wow. This is gorgeous. It smells oh, amazing. Wow. And look at the little welcome pack we've got. Look at that. Some of this? Popcorn, everything. You and Mum are sorted for your little light in now, aren't they? Yeah. Thanks for staying with us. That's a lovely touch, isn't it? Yeah. That's the website if you want to get straight on it. But there will be a full tour as well. Look at that. M and M's. Oh, you're sorted here, Laura. Look at that. Coffee. And that's not just for us. That's for everyone. So everyone gets a little welcome pack. You've got proper Disney Joffrey's oh, wow. coffee to go in the coffee machine. Lovely touch. Really nice touch. All the bedrooms are upstairs in this one. Yes, oh, it's wow. down a nice little working desk. This is gorgeous. Well, I'm this excited really to explore. Dad's straight in, look. Oh, look. Got uh, all kinds of little goodies left in the fridge. The owner's just left, so the owner left us some little goodies as extras, which was very kind. But the welcome pack, anyone, everyone gets who's going to be staying here, which is nice. Amazing. Oh, left us some, oh, look. Love this stuff. French vanilla. Oh, I love it. The owner must have known. I've been, they've been lovely, absolutely lovely. This is gorgeous. That goes in the freezer. Yeah, that's my uh, spicy mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, Laura's diving upstairs here. I'm going to save it for the full tour. Well, we've just done a lovely little live stream. What drink did you try there, Dad? It was a ja the Japanese one that tastes a bit like cream soda, like the original okay. cream soda. Melon flavour, Ramoon. Yeah, that was, was all right, wasn't it? Oh. What was the other snack that you really enjoyed? I'll leave the link to the live stream if you missed it. Dad tried his new favourite American snack live, didn't you? It was um, Slim 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 whatever. Slim Jim. Slim Horrendous, Jim. aren't they? They're worse than beef jerky Slim Jims. It's vile. Absolutely horrific. Well, I'm actually... <laughs> oh, God, he's holding it. He couldn't even finish it. But, yeah, Mum and Laura are going to chill here. What a gorgeous place to chill and have a little relax. And you can actually sit out here, watch a bit of TV in the pool or out the pool. You're netted in, so no mosquitoes or anything. Nice. And let me and Dad are off to uh, Orlando. Get the gig on. What a lucky man you are, eh? Lucky man. Whee! <laughs> Okay, well, you now join me and Dad. We are off to the Orlando Plaza. Stadium. For little concert. <laughs> so, a lot of you might not already know, Dad's a massive fan of Emerson, Lake and Palm, a big huge, ELP fan. Huge fan. And uh, say, my sister, Catherine, spotted that there was a, a little concert going on. A tribute, because two of them are dead. Only Carl Palmer is alive. And um, he's been into the estate of Keith Emerson and Greg Lake with permission and he's brought them back to life on screens yep so uh, carl palmer's doing it with them on the screens so it'll be a bit of a different type of thing it's a small venue but there is events going on all through the year so keep a little eye on that uh, there's always stuff going on in orlando concert and stuff wise yeah you're excited aren't you, you want a t-shirt and everything don't I, you well i've got t-shirts back from the day uh, back at home in storage you know tarkus uh, elp all over the Royal Albert Hall, which I think the gig tonight is the the, the screens are the Royal Albert Hall with Emerson and Lee. Right. So Palmer will be in the middle. Uh, on a on a scale of one to ten, excitement, it's eleven. Wow, very very <laughs> excited. Uh, it's about a fifty minute drive, so we're leaving nice and early, leaving bags of time. But yeah, I'm excited. Going to pop along. Sorry, everyone. I got distracted. A lovely couple from Canada had pulled over to say hello to us. Uh, so, hi, guys. If you're watching, it was uh, lovely to chat with you. <laughs> right, we're going to hit the road. Going to make our way. Let's go. And we'll uh, explain a little bit more when we're there and everything and prices and where we bought them from, etc. But let's get there first. Let's see what... I don't even know what... I don't know what to expect. I'm very excited. Like a kid, aren't you? I am. I am, honestly. Can't wait. 
can't wait. And the girls are having a little chilled night in, so they're they're happy resting up. They're gonna get all the stuff ready for our day out tomorrow. I think we're going to Blizzard Beach tomorrow, so they're packing up the gear. Right, drive on. Okay, everyone. Well, welcome to the Orlando Plaza. No, uh, we're parked literally no, just next door in uh, Old Navy. Go on. What are you going to say? Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Nice. We have just parked up. We've had a sneaky little... Well, I had a beer. You had a Sprite. We had a quick stop in there, uh, Miller's, because yeah. we got here quite early. Deep. And we realised that the plaza doesn't really have anything on beforehand. And we had to fight the crowds. So it's a very small, quiet event, and uh, when you pull up, I, I thought Dad had been scammed because you pull up, <laughs> and all you see is all this construction, and the, the front of the plaza has got nothing on it. It's all just construction works. I thought Dad had been had, but uh, we've seen other ELP fans going in, so we're fine. But yeah, all of this is all over the front, and it didn't look like it was going to be open. So it's not a massive, massive event, but this is Dad's favourite band of all time. Basically, this would be like me coming to see Ari Ariana Grande or Michael Jackson. So this is his version of that. So we weren't going to miss it tonight. Uh, happy to bring him down. I quite enjoy a lot of the music as well. I know a lot of it from listening to it in the car as a kid. So uh, I'm quite happy to come as well. Should be good. Something a little bit different. It's nippy out though. I don't know whether you can hear that wind. It is chilly tonight. Chilly, chilly. I'm hoping they do some sweets and bits inside, maybe some popcorn or something. I'm sure they will. And yeah, this isn't far from the Orlando City Stadium, which we're going to be coming to in just a few nights. We've got the Orlando City game coming up, which is going to be exciting. I enjoy going to them. I've been to a few of them before, and uh, we've got good seats for that. One thing I'm going to make sure I'm making sure the girls are aware of though is how cold it is. Once it goes dark, it is chilly. And uh, the game, the Orlando City game, is going to be outdoors, so we need to make sure the girls wrap up warm. Here he comes, striding back. He had to put his bag back in the car, they didn't allow any bags. So he's put his bag back, and here he comes, striding on. Look at him, buzzing, look. His little arms are going and everything, look. Whee, lovely. He's jump riding. <laughs> <laughs> So it is the following morning, Paul is still very happy about his show. 
and he's got some nice merch there. Got nice t-shirts and uh, this is for Andrew as a keepsake. Somewhere yeah. in a house or his office or wherever. Brilliant gig last night. Very cleverly put together. Carl was awesome on the drums. He had two guys with him, a guitarist and another guy that were uh, doing some of the stuff. But the images of Keith and Greg on the screen, very uh, emotional to see them playing together, but they're not playing together. Yeah. And as Carl said, it wasn't artificial intelligence. It was just footage of 1992 the gig at the royal albert hall and it was just just awesome the way they when they did lucky man greg was singing carl was on the drums keith was doing the moog synthesizer it was brilliant and uh, it was a lovely little theater very old but lovely uh, almost full lots of oh, old good. geezers like me old rockers <laughs> and uh, yeah it was just a brilliant night and it made my day to see them 50 years I'm 64, so that means I was 13, 14 when I first started listening wow. to Wow. Brilliant night, and I want to um, just say thanks to Andrew for spotting it, and our Catherine as well, and uh, and get me there. Brilliant. I know. It was, it was tricky, wasn't it, with your yeah. phone and oh, stuff? Oh, and going missing and everything. It was like, oh, no, am I going to miss it? But I've, I've seen it. I don't know whether it'll ever go to the UK either. He's on tour around America, so it, will he take it to the UK? I don't know. But anyway... Brilliant night, absolutely brilliant. Your favourite um, song from last night, but that that yeah, is song. Favourite song, Lucky Man. Lucky Man. Lucky Man with the three of them, the screens and Keith uh, uh, and Carl, absolutely brilliant. And I can't believe he is seventy three. Wow. But he did a drum solo that lasted twenty minutes, and to see him just play those drums, unbelievable. So yeah, a great night. Loved great it night. all. Yeah, good. Rock on, guys. Rock on. So you've got me ending the vlog today for a change. So they've never had a great day. Well, we've all, all had a lovely day. They had a great day. Me and Lydia had a nice evening chilled, a nice bottle of wine, lots of food. I had a lot to eat last night, but it was lovely. Really enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe. And we've got a great, great vlog coming up later for you. So subscribe and um, stride on. Bye, guys.